Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're gonna take a look at how to make biscuit cake. Now, yes, it there is such a thing. <laughs> it's sort of like a mix between having a nice biscuit and a nice cake. So let's get into this menu. I haven't had these for over 24 years, but we're gonna get reacquainted with them right about now. So let's jump into this. <laughs> Hey guys, in this presentation, we're going to be creating one of my favorites. It's a Trini classic. It's called biscuit cake. For that, you're gonna need four cups of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of evaporated milk, a cup of butter, which I am gonna soften for this recipe. So I'm gonna run it through the microwave for a few seconds. A uh, half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder so i'm gonna start by mixing my dry ingredients together and i'm gonna start giving this a whisk to incorporate i have the butter melted i melted it for 45 seconds and to that i'm gonna be adding our cup of sugar and then we're gonna give this a mix i'm gonna use a fork and we're gonna give it a mix. The butter, the sugar should melt easily because the butter is warm. We're gonna be adding our milk mixture to this, as well as our vanilla extract. I'm gonna put my vanilla extract first. That was one teaspoon. And then we're gonna add the milk. I put half, mix that in, and I'm gonna mix in the other half. So now we're going to be adding that to our dry ingredients. So we're just going to whisk in our wet into our dry ingredients. You're going to get a nice dough. It shouldn't be wet. It should be kind of sticky. I'm going to actually be transferring this to my countertop in a minute and interacting with it with my bare hand. So I'll show you what that looks like. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be incorporating all this till it forms somewhat of a dough ball. And then I'm gonna put my hands in here. Yep. So guys, my dough has formed, which is what I want. As you can tell, it's pretty soft. It's super soft, right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna just put about a tablespoon of flour on our work surface. And then we're gonna transfer this dough onto the countertop. And then we're gonna interact with it even more, as you can see. It's super soft, so we're just going to be rolling this in. I'll put a touch more flour. And you're just going to roll it for about two minutes. Okay, so I just got it into a combined shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly dust the top of it. And I'm going to use my rolling pin. And I'll be rolling this out as flat as I think I want the thickness of the cookie to be. So give me a chance to roll this. And I'll be back to show you what it looks like. You'll also need a cutter. A circular cutter to cut the shape however we're gonna use our enamel cup because that's the perfect circle hey guys so I'm back here with the rolled out dough now I didn't roll it super thin because I this cookie has never been a thin cookie so in comparison to, it's about the size of my thumb lined up on the side so it's not that thin or thick so we're gonna go straight into the shaping getting our circles out of here so I'm gonna cut as many as I can at first and then I'm gonna transfer them to a baking tray so yeah I'm gonna continue cutting all of them out and then whatever is left I'm gonna re-roll re-rolling that and um, cutting some more out of it but So guys, I got about nine cookies at this point. I still have a bit of a dough left, so I'm gonna be definitely re-rolling this. I'm probably gonna get another three more out of it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna combine this and roll it again and get the balance of them. But since the tray is full, I'm gonna put the overflow in some another tray. So you'll get a total of about 12 cookies 
by the time this is all said and done. So after rolling your cookies out and transferring them onto the baking tray there, we're gonna be setting our oven on. We're gonna turn our oven on to 350 and we're gonna let that preheat. As soon as it beeps, this should be ready, but we still have other steps that we need to continue with here. So in this cup, I have half cup of sugar and I have a quarter cup of evaporated milk. So I'm gonna be brushing all my cookies with the evaporated milk in order for the sugar to adhere to the top. The top of the co cookies are usually loaded with sugar, so I'm going to be doing that right now. I'm just going to be brushing a bit of cream onto these and then I'm gonna be sprinkling the sugar. Yeah, so that's it. That's how you get the sugar to stick to the biscuit. And then you just go in with pinchfuls of sugar for each and you just sprinkle it up top with cookies. Now I must mention when you're baking this cookie, this cookie doesn't turn brown or anything. It pretty much stays white like this. So you're not going to be looking for a dark color or anything. You're gonna be setting your micro uh, your oven on and it's gonna bake for at least 10 minutes and then you're gonna come back and check it no more than 15 minutes but 10 minutes for sure is where you're gonna so check all my it. cookies have been dressed with the milk and sugar and it's time to stick them in the oven for at least 10 to 15 minutes no more than 15 i would say average 12 minutes to be honest but that's how long i leave them in for so i'm going to set my timer for 12 minutes and then we'll be taking them out at that point so yeah so now we're going to just be transferring our cookies into our oven on the main level and we're gonna allow that to bake. So our timer just went off at 12 minutes for our cookies. So I'm gonna be taking them out of the oven and placing them to cool on the counter. It's totally ready. And yeah, so that's it. That's our cookies. We're gonna let these cool a little bit and then I'll show you the underneath and I'll show you what they look like let it cool hey guys so i'm just back to show you um what the cookies look like and stuff so here's an example it's nice and golden underneath it's pretty soft as you can see look at me squeezing okay and the texture let's take a look as we break into one super soft perfect cake.